What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting a birth, y'all. Y'all know this message about to be good. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap into your energy and see why the hell I'm burping. What messages um, that needs to get out, right? So I asked my Archangel Michael in a lay block to protect me as I channel this energy for you guys. And let's see what is surrounding your energy. Growth. A relationship. It says a relationship change and growth. So there is an existing relationship that is growing to a higher level. Okay. There's an existing relationship that is growing and ascending to a higher level. Okay, I feel like you are receiving assistance from some some unseen forces. God, all right, the divine, the universe. The, it, the divine is helping this seed grow and to ascend. Okay, so this is growth and change in a relationship. Let's see. Let's get some more energy. Oh my gosh, coming soon. Something is coming soon. Expect this within a year. Okay? So you guys probably are building something from the ground up. Okay? You guys taking it slow. Okay? You guys are not rushing into things. This is a so slow progress here. All right. Patience. Freedom. Okay. Something um, about April or May is significant in this reading. There's definitely growth in a friendship. After a lot of anxiety. So I feel like whoever you are with. Aside from a romantic relationships. Um, they was more worried. About the friendship that you guys have. Okay. That shit had them going through anxiety. Okay. Thinking about their money. You know. Thinking about the fucking rent. Thinking about taxes. It was just a lot of fears. Alright. When it comes to this friendship growing all right between a fire sign and a water sign it doesn't have to be these maybe are the energies that you guys are embodying um embodying all right but the gate is opened all right spirit has granted you remember what i said it feels like an unseen force is like helping you with that hand you are receiving thank you spirit you are receiving a helping hand from the divine Okay, when it comes to a relationship change and growing. All right, so that's huge. Okay, after feeling like somebody has lost their friend. That's important. That's how you know it's on a soul level. When somebody is going through anxiety because they feel like they lost their friend. All right, so it was on a deeper level between you guys. All right, because y'all was embodying this water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then y'all was embodying this fire energies, Aries, Leo, or Sag. So that's temperance. That's fire and water. That's emotions and actions. All right? Learning how to not move off of impulse. All right? Take, taking action when needed. Learning that not all actions need a reaction from you. So it's a lot. That you guys are taking it slow with. Again, April or May, springtime. Okay, it could be very significant in this reading. Oh, sorry. Or it could be full too. Um, September through November or April through May. Okay. But the gate is open. Yeah, look. This shit was a heartbreak between two souls. On a new level. This was a devastation of a heartbreak on a whole new level. Okay, okay, after a period of anxiety. I don't know what the fuck happened, but it was a heartbreak on a whole new level, like devastation. And I feel like it was more so maybe the friend part. Okay. 
Spirit, tell me more about this energy. Yo, this was your true divine counterpart. Somebody was going through anxiety because they knew something was coming soon. But you know how you just, maybe there was something physical. All right, that was separating you guys. But this is your divine masculine. This is your divine feminine. Y'all. And that's why you guys may have went through a breakup or some time apart. But that time apart wasn't regular. <laughs> Like that time apart felt like a devastation on a whole new level. All right. Because that was your true divine counterpart. Oh my gosh. This was true love. This was true love. Okay. You guys cared about one another deeply. All right. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, look, a pregnancy, a baby bump coming soon. So if you guys plan the pregnancy, if you guys wanted to have a future with your person and it was just a lot of stuff, but you knew deep down in your heart that you was connected to this person and that was your divine masculine, that was your divine feminine, okay? You knew that you or your person was going through anxiety more so because of friendship, all right? And they wanted to just, they wanted that. Okay, and there's a pregnancy coming soon. All right, that you guys thought, that you guys thought, that you guys thought was never going to happen because of some sort of heartbreak. But spirit was saying, let it be. Spirit was saying, take no action and let fate play. All right, it was like the divine, you see this hope in hand, it was like the divine was in control over what was going on. Okay. It was like the divine was lighten, lightening your load throughout this process a little bit when it comes to faith. All right. Oh, my gosh. Unconditional love. Do you see how much love cards out here? This is your person. You didn't kick this person while they was down. All right. You made them actually feel like they could do anything while they was in some sort of situation that had them kind of down. Or not being able to move how they want to move. All right. But this was unconditional love. All right. This love holds no bounds. And I think that's why the anxiety was there. Wow. Right. And look, somebody just kept calm. Divine Feminine is looking like you just keeping calm because you in your, your, you in your season of allowing. You in your season of receiving. All right. And you don't overreact to something that will that's yours. Okay, is what I'm seeing. You do not have to pretend. Okay, there is some. There's a there's there's a spirit of pretending. Okay, and your energy. Oh my gosh! And this 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 person that is pretending and being someone that. They're not and not their authentic self, excuse me. All right. They have completely lost their self and your person may have wished things were different and made different choices and different cho uh, choices were made. All right. This person is a regret to somebody, maybe even to themselves because of the pretending. All right. But I felt like that's why you didn't overreact because this is you. You remain calm. All right. It was too much love here. Okay. I told you. Look. It was like that was the that was the wall. There was a little wall in between you guys. All right. That was causing a wedge. But you guys are compromising. You guys are giving into each each other. It's like you know you guys are meeting each other at halfway. Wow. Yeah, because, oh my gosh, the feelings are not mutual. There's an imbalance in love and things have to be balanced. So the person that didn't get to experience things, whether it's both of them, things have to be balanced. So that way 
you know, it's just the results of your actions. Okay. So feelings aren't mutual in this connection. It's looking like the feminine energy, the one that is pretending, the one that is looking like a regret, like a like just not intact with their emotions. Okay. They're being access. All right. They are being needy, codependent. All right, and maybe it's it has to do with money. It's a leash for money. Okay, yeah. It's to continue to support their habit. It's to continue to support their habit. This person is suffering with mental health issues. Okay. This person may be feeling obligated to their money. Yeah. And this person is being weighed down with this type of behavior. Okay. It's consuming them. It's stressing them out. All right. It's take you guys are taking on too much in this energy. And somebody, all right, that has been keeping calm, I think, has been been telling this person it's time for a break. It's time for a pause. A relationship change is what it's saying. Okay. Yeah, and it's gonna be an unexpected relationship change. Okay, there's a surprise coming in. There's something spontaneous happening. Okay. Where spirit is saying, this is worth the wait. Be patient and don't give up hope. All right. So I think that's very clear for you guys. I love you and I hope that helped. And I'll see you guys in another reading.